These problems have to do with what's called inverse variation. You may have done problems with direct variation. One thing varies directly with another. In this case, the things vary inversely um, with each other. The basic formula, we say y varies inversely, and we have a constant of variation k with x. And we put x on the bottom of the fraction. So we're making a fraction here with the constant on top and x on the bottom. Let's see, in this case, it says the time required to drive varies inversely with the speed. Well, that makes sense. Uh, the time would go down if the speed goes up. So going in different directions, that's inverse variation. So time varies inversely with speed, time and speed. So it says it takes four hours to drive the distance at 50 miles per hour. So we have time and speed. We can figure out our constant of variation. So it takes four hours to go 50 or at 50 miles per hour. So the, we're going to multiply both sides by 50. We get k equals 200. Then it says, how long will it take to drive the same distance at 60 miles per hour? Well, now we have k, and we have a new speed. So we'll just plug it in this formula. So t, that's what we don't know, how long, it equals k, which is 200, over the speed, which is 60. So we just take 200 divided by 60, and what is that? 3.3 um, repeating. So that's 3 hours and 20 minutes, or 3.33 repeating hours. Let's try one more like that. All right. The price per person of renting a bus varies inversely with the number of people renting the bus. I guess they're just splitting up the cost, and the cost bus has some fixed cost. So that would make sense. The more people you have, the lower the price would go. It costs $16 per person if 27 people rent the bus. So let's think about this. The price uh, varies inversely with the number of people. So price and number of people. And then they tell us it costs 16 that's our price, when the number of people is 27. So k over 27. Then we're going to multiply each side by 27 here. And let's see, I think k is going to be 432. And then it says, how much will it cost per person if 53 people rent the bus? Well, we can put it back in here. What's the cost, the price? We don't know. Uh, the constant of variation is 432. And the number of people is 53. So we get 432 divided by 53, and you get something close to $8.15 per person. So that's a little bit of work with inverse variation.